original way of doing murder mysteries. A bunch of fun where someone dies. I'm afraid his lordship is dead. <laughs> a mysterious murder in the Lord's Manor. But who did it? There is a number of opportunities, a number of motives, and a number of weapons. Come June, Rigby's Bar will be serving up a three-course dinner with a dash of murder mystery on the side. It's very much this dinner theatre. It is like watching a stage performance, but you're immersed in it. Robbie Burns has been doing this for 35 years in the UK. Now he's moved to Perth and brought his Clue Dunnett show with him. During your starter course, something may happen. And during your main course, something may happen. Until you're left with just a few people who will remain the suspects. While the setting, victim and killer are set in stone, the show has no script. We have a basic skeleton that we stick to and then embellish as the nights go on. The story is set in Pokington Manor as the Lord welcomes villagers into his home to decide how to spend £30,000 left to the town. Then he's murdered. <coughs> the cast creates the story as they go, dropping clues for the audience. The whole thing is driven by time, place and moment, but created on the spot, on the night, at the table, and is very open to interaction. Because it's all improvised, the cast mingles and sits with the audience, who essentially become the villagers, not so much as characters, but detectives. Reverend, helps you to have the Lord out of the picture, doesn't it? Oh, my dear, the Lord is never out of the picture. So we can use whatever the audience gives us to make it fun on the night. For the audience, it plays out like a game of real-life Cluedo. But you see a whole table working together, and as the clues come out, you can see little sparks are coming. Some, and we will say, if they're not getting it, then they're pushed in the right direction. People don't have to worry about acting a part. So they don't have, they don't have to come dressed up, but they can if they want. They don't have to assume a character unless they want. The story's inspired by the queen of murder mysteries. Agatha Christie made murder incredibly popular and she did it by giving us plots that we could follow and along the lines clues that were laid down and guesses we could make about who did what for who and what. In Robbie's experience, murder mysteries go down particularly well when they keep people guessing especially if there's a good twist. They like to use their little grey cells, as uh, Poirot would say. They like to work it out. 